In the 1960s, America had a dream. A dream to land a man on the moon and return him safely to Earth. And that dream became a reality thanks to the Apollo program. A program that pushed the boundaries of human achievement and forever changed the course of history. It all began with Apollo 1. On January 27, 1967, a tragic fire in the command module during a pre-launch test killed all three crew members, Gus Grissom, Ed White, and Roger Chaffee. But NASA didn't give up. The Apollo 7 mission, which launched on October 11, 1968, marked the first manned test flight of the Apollo spacecraft. Commanded by Walter Shearer, Don Isel, and Walter Cunningham, they accomplished the first live television broadcasts from space. Then came Apollo 8, launched on December 21, 1968. It was the first manned mission to leave Earth's orbit and travel to the moon. Commanded by Frank Borman, James Lovell, and William Anders, they orbited the moon for 20 hours and transmitted live television broadcasts of the lunar surface back to Earth. Next up, Apollo 9, launched on March 3, 1969. It was a test of the lunar module, the spacecraft that would later land on the moon. Commanded by James McDivitt, David Scott, and Rusty Schweikert. Then came Apollo 10, which launched on May 18, 1969. This was a dress rehearsal for the first manned lunar landing. Thomas Stafford, John Young, and Gene Cernan flew the lunar module to within 50,000 feet of the lunar surface and tested all the systems that would be used in the actual landing. And finally, the moment we had all been waiting for, Apollo 11, launched on July 16, 1969 and successfully landed on the moon on July 20th. It was the first manned lunar landing. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Holdrin made history by being the first humans to set foot on the moon. This achievement became an iconic moment in human history. Contact light. Okay, engine stop. We copy you down, Eagle. Tranquility base here. The Eagle has landed. Armstrong and Aldrin spent 21 hours and 36 minutes on the moon's surface. While they were on the lunar surface, Michael Collins orbited above in the command module, named Columbia. After the lunar module lifted off from the lunar surface, it rendezvoused with the command module in orbit around the moon. The three astronauts then returned safely to Earth, splashing down in the Pacific Ocean on July 24, 1969. The Apollo program was not only an engineering feat, but also a scientific one. The experiments and samples gathered by the astronauts during their missions greatly contributed to the understanding of the Moon and the solar system. The program cost $25.4 billion, and it was money well spent, as it showed what humanity is capable of achieving. The Apollo program will forever be remembered as a milestone in human history. The program pushed the boundaries of human achievement and forever changed the course of history. The Apollo missions 12 to 17 continued the Apollo program. Apollo 12, the second manned mission in the program, was launched on November 14, 1969 and successfully landed on the moon's surface on November 19th. 
astronauts Pete Conrad and Alan Bean became the third and fourth humans to walk on the lunar surface and collected rock samples, deployed scientific experiments, and surveyed the landing site. Apollo 13 was intended to be the third mission to land on the moon, but an oxygen tank explosion en route to the moon forced the crew to return to Earth safely using the lunar module as a lifeboat. The subsequent Apollo 14 to 17 missions all successfully landed on the moon, collected rock samples, and deployed scientific experiments. The last mission of the program, Apollo 17, launched on December 7, 1972, and astronauts Eugene Cernan, Harrison Schmidt, and Ronald Devons became the last humans to walk on the lunar surface. You might be wondering what happened to Apollo 2-6. The Apollo missions 2 to 6 were early test flights in the Apollo program by NASA. Apollo 2 and 3 were planned as manned missions but were cancelled. Apollo 4, the first test flight of the Saturn V rocket, was launched on November 9, 1967. It was the first successful test flight of the Saturn V rocket, which would later launch the Apollo spacecraft to the moon. Apollo 5, launched on January 22, 1968, was the first flight test of the lunar module which completed its mission in Earth orbit. Apollo 6, launched on April 4, 1968, was the second and last unmanned test flight of the Saturn V rocket. It had some technical problems, but these were addressed for the following manned missions. That's one small step for man, One giant leap for man. 